Well, good day, guys. Welcome to my first proper, proper um, solo camping adventure on the bike. I've um, just done about 150 odd k's on the bitumen to get here. This is uh, Mingo Crossing on the Burnout River. Beautiful little spot. So, yeah, as I said, my first like real proper solo adventure. It's taken me a while to work up to this. Normally, my little solo overnight is a pretty close to home. This time, I'm going three to four hundred k's away from home, um, up past Mount Perry. Hopefully, into Banya National Park. We'll go into there today, and with any luck, tomorrow night I'll be camping on the beach somewhere. So that should be cool. So yeah, stick around, guys. Should be a good video. See where we end up tonight for starters. Alright, eh? luggage is secure. Luck's going well. Nothing's falling off. Just keep going. Yeah, beautiful little spot here, Mingo Crossing. Guess you can fish and water ski and whatever. Camp, there's a little caravan park up there. Amenities. I am just taking my time today guys. I got plenty of time to get to where I'm going. There's no hurry. Just cruising and enjoying the day. Alright hey Google, is there actually a road here I can take? <laughs> Already. <laughs> Yeah, it's supposed to be going into that area there. It looks like, you know, on Google Maps there's roads in there, but it all looks like private property to me. So we'll keep going and see if there's any roads going in there a bit further up. Oh well, no off-roading on the way to Mount Perry. That's alright. Let's stop here and uh, see if I find a cup of coffee and something to munch on. And I'll fill up fuel as well. Premium. Dude! Oh, hey. Full tank of Mount Perry's premium. Premiumest of the premium. <laughs> yeah, find something to eat. Just park in the shade here and uh, go across the road. So oh, yeah, Mount Perry General Store. Nice coffee, not too bad. Sausage roll, living the dream. Pretty quiet little spot here on a weekday. Sexy bike over there. All right, we're on the move again. Heading north. Hopefully we'll be able to peel off into Bania National Park shortly. Alright, well, it said no through road at the uh, start of it, so let's see if that one's full of shit. No, well, we're under some dirt. Nice. Oh, yeah, pretty easy riding so far. Nothing overly exciting, but as I said, this is all new to me, never been in here at all. So that's always good. Do a creek bed down there, it's quite nice. <laughs> Luckily that gate's tied open. Yeah, there's some nice natural bushland through here. Gum trees and shit. The iron barks. Pretty short sure on Google Maps, so I saw that there was like a house or a, yeah, like a property out in the middle of this national park, so We'll be going past that at some point. Oh yeah, right there. Cool. 
hazardous area, do not enter private property. Little garden shed, little outhouse over there. <laughs> Long drop dunny. Alright, cool, push on. Cross track two, there's plenty of tracks out here anyway. Oh yeah, don't know about a swim, but hopefully it ain't boggy. <laughs> it's deeper than I thought it was going to be. <laughs> ah, beautiful iron box. Smells out here. Mm, beautiful. I'd say uh, I'm going to have this whole place to myself at the moment. Doesn't look like anybody's been through in a while. Just by the um, whoa, there. Um, doesn't look like anybody's been through here for a long time. Ah, a while anyway. All the leaves on the road are undisturbed. That obviously hasn't been driven through for a while still hoping to find a creek or something to swim in there's been a little bit of water in um, some of these gullies but yeah uh, we'll see the only thing is if there's been nobody through here clearing the track might end up coming to something unpassable Pretty nice. Pretty nice. Oh, big spider web. Uh. <laughs> That's the other problem with no one being through here for a while. Big spider webs. Oh, they spider web dealt with to keep my eyes open for those suckers. Stay sitting down, maybe. <laughs> There's one. Whoa! Got a spider in it too. This could really end up putting a damper on the ride. Oh, there's another one. Hopefully they're just sort of... Oh, big dog. Hopefully they're just sort of localised to this one little area here. Sticky, gross fucking webs. I hate them. I've entered the spider zone. <laughs> I've picked up a passenger. <laughs> you bastard. Oh, mate. See what I mean about these webs? Oh, they're disgusting. Don't care so much about the spiders. Don't particularly want the spider in my face, but it's all this shit you gotta clean off your bike. Anyway, <clears throat> on to the next one. Luckily I'm not in a hurry, eh? It's only freaking 12.20. Plenty of time. I haven't seen a web for a couple of minutes. Dare I hope that I'm out of the spider zone. Yeah. Come to a gate. Oh yeah, hello. Getting a bit warm here. I've got to imagine that this track's going to actually come out somewhere. Surely a track this friggin' long wouldn't be a dead end.
definitely not very exciting riding at this pace. <laughs> but I don't care, eh? it's like it's an epic countryside, nice track. Beautiful day for it. Fucking out in the middle of nowhere with nobody around. when it's opened out a bit like this they don't generally stretch their webs out that far okay yeah it's getting better Apparently we're back in spider country. I just about like, copped a big one right in the mouth. <laughs> Luckily I ducked at the last second when I saw it. Fucking things. Looks soft, you reckon? Nah. That is a rock. Seem to be running out of track. Alright, keeps on going. I think I might actually be out of the uh, national park now. Looks like a bit of cattle grazing country. Well, it's just got interesting. Like a fucking shack or something up here. Hmm, okay. was a bit soft in the bottom. <laughs> kind of want to be going that way. This is some bullshit. <laughs> oh, here we go. Here's a track. 2080 gates later, we're uh, back on track towards the blue line. Maybe that's why this track, like this whole area is so unused, maybe it just goes into private bloody grazing property. But anyway, we'll bloody find out, won't we? Still trucking. I don't know what the hell this is. But it's pretty cool. Oh, there's a creek down there. I just keep getting the feeling that this truck's going to peter out into nothing. <laughs> Look at it. <laughs> it's, it's halfway there already. Halfway to nothing. Looks like we're going down to cross the creek here. Rutty. <laughs> oh man, this track has not been used a long time. I'm like a freaking pioneer, man. So where the hell do we go? So yeah, I thought maybe the track kept going up the uh, creek bed here, but 
There's big logs and shit in the creek bed up there, so that wasn't it. Had a look up here. Um, just over there near that log. The, the track actually goes up pretty steep up there. But um, this is around about where I wanted to camp for the night anyway. It ain't exactly <laughs> a nice bit of creek, but it'll do for a quick wash off and cool down later on. And um, I'm just going to set my tent up over here in the shade and the grass. I reckon that'll do me for the night. Uh, I don't think anybody actually <laughs> ever comes through here anyway. This track is just... Yeah, well you saw, non-existent anyway. Now my honest assessment is, oh, this is the track I came in on. I don't think I'm going to get bothered by any people unless uh, horseback riders come through or something now and then. But being near water here, I might get um, might get visited by a few animals and not, hopefully no yowies. Thirsty yowies. <laughs> All right, that's better. Into the Queensland summertime attire, bodies and bare feet. <laughs> so one of my uh, supporters, Patreon guys, uh, Rob C, he uh, tried going solo camping uh, recently or a little while ago now and he said that he, well he asked me how I managed to not get bored out here by myself. Now basically I'm just one of those people that <laughs> I quite enjoy my own company if I'm out even just sitting at home, I don't care if I'm by myself, um, it doesn't bother me. Out here, um, there's always something to do, setting up camp, finding firewood, whatever, looking for cool fucking stuff, going for a walk. But um, if I give uh, two tips, don't get to camp too early, like I have today, it's only about 2pm now. But the other tip is, get yourself one of these, um, little Bluetooth speaker, they're only about 50 bucks I think, I'll put a link to this one. In the description if I can find it. You'll probably want to download a whole bunch of mp3s or whatever or rip some cds onto your phone because usually when you're out here you, you know you've got no internet service so you can't use spotify or whatever so you need those um, files on your phone then just bluetooth to a speaker have a bit of music going so keep the company if that doesn't work get yourself a gopro and start vlogging and <laughs> that works for me. Anyway I'm gonna go and throw these bad boys in that water down there if it's cool you know got one dirty bloody great northern today's topic for discussion in the uh, comments section is going to be great northern now do you like great northern beer personally i don't think it's all that good it's definitely not the worst beer i've ever tasted but it ain't all that good and it's so freaking popular. Me and Dad were sitting there having a coffee at, um, in Gympie one day. Just watching how many people walked out of the bottle shop with cartons of Great Northern. And I was like, what the fuck's going on? And he said, he reckons that they, like he watches a lot of commercial TV. And he said that the, um, the advertising they did for Great Northern was really good. The ads were quite catchy. And he reckons that's why everybody drinks Northern, even though it's a shit beer. <laughs> I mean, I don't watch commercial TV, I just watch YouTube and stuff. But, um, yeah, have you been sucked in by the Great Northern advertising campaign? Is that why? If you like Northerns, is that why? Or do you actually like the taste? Please, leave a comment. Oh, yeah. Now, that is happening. This water over here is a few degrees cooler than that over there, too. Stay and chill. But, yeah, I mean... Who wouldn't love doing this sort of shit? This sort of, it makes me feel like I'm 12 years old again. I mean, who didn't love doing this shit when you're a kid? I don't know. Just being out here. Pretending I'm a boy scout. <laughs> Pretty cool. Anyway, while, um, while those are chilling, I might go for a little wander up the creek bed and see what we can see. Anyway, you've got to be on the uh, lookout for snakes. Pretty sketchy walking around these sort of places with shorts and thongs on. If I got bit by a brown snake out here, I've got no phone service. Um, yeah, I'd probably be dead within a couple of hours. I'd have to uh, set off that um, PLB and um, hope for the best. Anyway, don't <laughs> think about that shit. Ugh, look at the water. Looks like freaking snake tracks, eh? There's slithery marks there. Ah, uh, just been over to the fridge to get a beer out. 
One more tip I could give you if you get bored by yourself out here, get a Kindle or just bring a book. Not everybody's into reading, but um, I do. Uh, I don't read a lot. Uh, it usually takes me a couple of years to get through a book, but um, I read a little bit now and then. Um, I'm actually reading Ghost Rider at the moment. A lot of you guys suggested uh, this book to me. It's a like a, a true sort of recounting of Neil Peart, the uh, drummer from the band Rush. Uh, he lost, yeah, I won't spoil it for you, but he uh, he had a really bad time and uh, got on his bike and started riding all over America and Canada to uh, help him get over it. Yeah, interestingly enough, I, I don't really know who Rush is. Like, I mean, I've heard of them in movies and stuff, but they they were never big here in Australia for some reason. I think they never really took off. I did have a listen to a few of their songs on YouTube. They're not really my sort of thing, but anyway. So yeah, read a book. No better place to do it than out in nature, man. Peaceful. Hey, the tent is set up, bed's ready to go. So I've collected a little bit of firewood and I've just had a bath slash swim in that gross brown water. <laughs> and it's about three o'clock, so I'm thinking it's time for another cold, cold brewski. I'll go fetch one out of the fridge. Status update, it is just after 5 p.m. I believe and I'm on the last cold beer out of the creek <laughs> when I say cold I mean warm I brought the drone which is sitting over there on the bike and uh, as soon as this is gone I'm gonna crack some red wine yeah we're not out here to fuck spiders we are out here to get drunk and sit around the fire and eat shitty soup out of a can <laughs> Shout out to Mr. Will. How's the serenity? Drink it in. Alright, I'll get the music back on now. <laughs> Alright, let's get this some bitch up in the air. Take off. Oh yeah, boy. The home point has been updated. Please check it on the map. much to see around here from the um, drone but so uh, you can definitely tell we're in the middle of freaking nowhere anyway oh man these mosquitoes are coming out now it's time to get some repellent going Woo yeah big shot the uh, good old bushman's we'll see how well that works tell you one thing that freaking bushman's is sticky man anyway let's get fire going fuck my feet are sticking to my thumbs that's how freaking sticky this shit is
Fire's going, that means it's time for red wine and there ain't nothing else that says classy like red wine in a plastic Gatorade bottle. <laughs> Whatever works man. Oh yeah, that fire's going good. Well, the uh, cicadas are still awake as you can probably hear. But um, yeah, sun has gone down. Might get some uh, crappy food on the go presently, soon. A couple more glasses of plastic cups of red. <laughs> Chunky peppered steak and potato. Mate, it doesn't get any easier than cracking open a can with one hand while you're holding a camera. Alrighty, it's, uh, it's ten. It's after ten. It's like really quiet, like apart from the crickets it's so still and quiet out here <laughs> yeah i reckon i might turn in um see what tomorrow brings hey <laughs> this um track up here is going to be interesting it's all part of the adventure anyway that's coming up in part two guys make sure you subscribe and like and all that stuff and i'll uh, we'll see you in the next one cheers Thank you.